हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल गोरिला वर्सेस लेपर्ड हु वुड विन इन अ फाइट द अफ्रीका इज होम टू अ वाइड वैरायटी ऑफ डिफरेंट एनिमल्स अमंग देम गोरिलास एंड लेपर्ड्स आर सम ऑफ द टफेस्ट एंड मोस्ट डेंजरस एनिमल्स इन अफ्रीका and believe it or not these two animals happen to meet one another in their habitats in africa gorillas are highly intelligent primates that only live in tropical rainforest of central africa and provide humans with insight into our evolution Leopards are the often forgotten big cats that lack the speed and power of their cousins. But what would happen if a fully grown leopard was to clash with a fully grown silverback gorilla? Can they prove that they are worthy of respect by fighting and beating a large silverback gorilla? So let's find out the main characteristics, strength and weaknesses of gorillas and leopards and what would happen when they fight head to head. Range and habitat Gorillas typically live in the lowland tropical rainforest of Central Africa. The range of the two species is separated by the Congo River and its tributaries. The western gorilla lives in West Central Africa, while the eastern gorilla lives in East Central Africa. Native to more than 35 African countries, leopards occur in the widest variety of habitat among any of the old world cats from desert and semi-desert regions to arid regions of North Africa to savanna grasslands and to the rainforest of West Central Africa. Size and weight Male silverback gorilla are 4 feet 7 inch to 5 feet 11 inch tall in height and with an arm span that stretches from 7 feet to 8 feet. The adult male gorillas can weigh up to 136 to 220 kg. The heaviest gorilla recorded was a 6 feet silverback shot in Ambam, Cameroon, which weighed 267 kg. The male leopards are typically larger than females. The average males can be weigh around 60 kg, but the heaviest known African leopard weighs about 91 kg. Male stands 2.2 feet at the shoulder and they can grow up to 3 to 6.2 feet long from head to tail. So when it comes to sheer size, gorillas have an advantage in a fight as they are around 3 to 4 times bigger than leopards. Strength and power When it comes to brute strength, gorillas are nature's freak. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, one silverback gorilla managed to lift 1800 pounds of weight. It is said that one gorilla has the strength of 15 men. Despite being the smallest of big cats, pound for pound leopards are the strongest cats in the world. They can climb a 50 feet tree while holding a kill in their mouth, heavier than themselves. Gorilla's strongest weapon is its brute strength. They are a lot stronger than leopards. Speed. Gorillas can reach speed of up to 40 km/h. 
Leopards are the slowest of big cats, but still hit a top speed of 56 to 60 km per hour. Agility Gorillas and leopards are both fast animals, but leopards have the advantage as they have better movements and are a lot more agile. When it comes to movement advantages, leopards can jump forward 20 feet and leap 10 feet straight up. Very helpful when charging at the prey and sticking claws in its body. But on the other hand, gorillas are not a very good jumpers. Gorillas are excellent climbers but very poor when it comes to swimming. Leopards on the other hand are strong swimmers and exceptional climbers. Bite Force Gorilla have an incredibly strong bite force of 1300 psi. There are a lot of misconceptions about leopard bite force on Google, which shows us only 300 psi. But friends, according to me, leopard bite force can be between 500 to 600 psi. Weapons Gorillas have 32 teeth just like us. They also have long and sharp canines that can grow up to 2 inches long. Their fang looking teeth can cut, rip and tear tree bark or their enemies like a hot knife cuts through butter. Leopards have 32 teeth, 4 of which are long, pointed canine teeth they use to kill their prey, which can grow up to 2 inches long. Gorillas do not have any claws but fingernails and toenails they use for opening, scraping, cleaning and scratching. They might not have claws but gorillas might use weapons like sticks when defending themselves. Leopards have retractable, razor sharp and carved claws that can grow up to 1.5 inches long. Senses Gorillas have similar senses to humans, including hearing, sight and smell, but they don't have the ability to see well in the darkness. Leopards have an acute sense of hearing and smell, an excellent binocular vision to locate their prey. When the dark comes, Leopards have a mirror-like membrane at the back of the retina that reflects light and allows them to see in full darkness. Fight So friends, who would win in a fight between a silverback gorilla and an African leopard? Gorillas are not predatory animals. They do not go and hunt other animals. They seriously lack the predatory instinct. The main offensive weapon of a gorilla is its supernatural strength and powerful punch. It can charge at its enemy, grab its limbs and crush them. On the other hand, like most cats, leopards rely on ambushing their prey. They prefer to stalk fast then circle in closely and finally attack it by charging from behind. In a head-to-head -head fight in the open between a gorilla and a leopard, a gorilla would have a slightly better chance of winning. Leopards have the speed and agility, more hunting skills, razor sharp claws and know where to bite to kill their victim. But a fully grown gorilla would be too big of a catch for the leopard. Just because of their brute size and strength, gorillas have the advantage in this match. One lucky hit with their massive fist to the spine 
and the leopard would be torn to pieces by the aggressive gorilla. But wait guys, this doesn't mean that the leopard would have no chance in this matchup. The leopard would put up a good fight and leave a mark on the gorilla. If the fight would to happen in a dense forest at night where a leopard could ambush and suddenly jumping on the gorilla and bite to the neck, then might be leopard will win. Leopards are also a nocturnal hunters, gorillas have poor night vision and sleep at night. This will give a leopard a clear advantage at night. According to scientists, the leopard is the only predator of the gorilla in the African forest. In 2011, George Shella, a wildlife biologist that worked for National Geographic, reported that he had found a large male leopard and a dominant silverback gorilla, both dead in his study making a last stand counterattack and huspa living primates. He had determined that a fight had taken place in the forest between the two and both had died from mutually inflicted wounds. So according to me, it all depends on the circumstances. If this fight happened in daylight, then of course, Silverback will get more advantage and it's not an easy task for a small leopard to take down a monstrous Silverback in head-to-head -head combat during the day. But on the contrary, if this fight takes place at night, then definitely the leopard will get more advantage against the mighty silverback. So in the end, it is concluded that both gorilla and leopard have 50-50 chances to win or lose this fight. Friends, I have noticed for a long time that you guys only watch my videos but don't like. That's why I have set the likes target of this video to 300. I will not make the next video until 300 likes are completed. Thanks for watching.